dear students welcome to my youtube channel anu computer education in today's video i'm going to give you the most important model paper in fit subject you know this is bcom first year first semester fit subject you know already 50 marks paper and 2 hours exam so in this uh, video i'm going to give you the most important uh, instructions so you need to follow while writing the exam and uh, the when it is comes to the part a what is modem and uh, so you know what is modem modem is a hardware component by making use of modem what we can do modulation and demodulation so converting the analog signal to digital signal digital signal to analog signal so that you have to write it in the two marks question so next next question is what is rom and its type so rom is nothing but read only memory so what are the data which we stored in rom that is only for reading purpose we cannot make any alteration in rom so you know in rom we have so many different types of roms are there rom prom e prom e e prom so all these types you have to explain so next plotter so you know plotter is an output device so with the help of plotter what we can do we can draw the diagrams pictures so all you have to write it next the important question is what is word processing so you know why we are using word processing to prepare the documents and all everything you have to write it next spreadsheet so it is nothing but excel what is spreadsheet and what uh, what we can do with the spreadsheet the definition you have to write so what is dos dos is nothing but disk operating system so with the help of so it is a single user operating system so dos contains so many different types of commands are there internal commands and external commands so if possible just to mention some internal commands and external commands and uh, next uh, the very very uh, important question is what is computer protocol and what is translator and its types so translator means converting the one programming language instructions into another programming language so we have total three translators are there compiler interpreter and uh, assembler so why we are using compiler compiler is, is used to convert the one pro programming language instructions into machine understanding language in single step so what about a uh, interpreter converting the one programming language instructions into machine understanding language in line by line or step by step it is doing so what is assembly level language so assembly level language come uh, assembler is used to convert the assembly level language so you know in assembly level language what will be there mnemonics will be there that the mnemonics are words so these words are converted into machine understanding format so these are very very important two marks questions in your final exam so when it is comes to the uh, long answers what is printer and different types of printers you know printers is an hardware device uh, the what are the output which will be generated with printer it will print the uh, hard copy so what are the information which we are printing on the paper that is called as hard copy in general the printers are two types impact printer and non impact printer so you know already uh, what is the difference between the impact and non impact so impact there will be a physical contact with the paper in non impact there will be no physical contact with the paper so again impact printers are two types so dot matrix printer and line printer so when it is comes to the non impact printer line printer and page printer so different models which are given in the book and just you go through with that answer and you write it next uh, various types of input and output devices uh, you know keyboard mouse cpu all uh, sorry keyboard mouse and input devices uh, barcode reader micr ocr all different types of so just write any five input devices and any five output devices is more than enough just only the definition part you need to cover so what is number system you know number system is uh, mainly used for what counting the objects so in olden days if you want to count any objects we used to go for the finger fingers and stones and sticks so in general the number systems are two types and positional number system and non positional number system in uh, non positional number system we are using uh, numbers 1 1 1 1 so if you count any objects we are using all represent in the one if you move any digit from any digit any place from uh, any okay the value remains constant but when you go for the positional number system every digit digit is having the position so if suppose example 123 is there the 3 is in ones place and 2 is in hundred place and 1 is in 100 place okay if i move 3 3 in one place to 100 place the value of the 3 before it is in 1 3 uh, now it will become 300 now so it means what it the movement so if you are moving from left to right or right to left 
based upon your movement the value may increase or the value may decrease because of the position the position number system how many position number systems are there four numbers are there one is hexadecimal number system octal number system binary number system and decimal number system you know in a, every number system the what are the digits will which will be comes under binary digit two digits are there zero and one the radix or base is denoted with the zero uh, sorry two and the decimal number system the digits are zero to nine and the base or radix uh, is denoted with the ten so octal number system the digits are zero to seven and the base or radix is denoted with the eight and hexadecimal the digits are total 16 digits are there starts from 0 to 9 and a to f so these are all you have to write it for this question and next what is memory so this is one of the very very important question and what is memory a memory is a storage area where we can store the data the data can be stored in the form of audio video or any format so when you know in computer there are generally the memories are two types and remember when you are learning this answer you may get the question like uh, difference between the primary memory and secondary memory and that is also same and this is also same okay just whatever the primary memories you are learning and what are the secondary so if you are getting differences you make it a box and write it if you are getting normal question you write it as a paragraph wise a primary you can point wise uh, primary memory and secondary memory you have to write it so next uh, uh the about ram and you have about the secondary hard disk you have to write so your primary memory is a temporary memory it is also volatile memory what are the data which we stored in the ram it will be erased automatically when you switch on the switch off the computer and secondary memory is also called as a permanent memory okay and it's also called as auxiliary memory what are the data which we stored that cannot be erased automatically even you switch off the computer the primary memory is faster okay so and uh, secondary memory is slower and uh, the cost of the primary memory is more and uh, the cost of secondary memory is cheaper okay so all you have to explain so then very very important question which we are going to discuss now the what is software and explain the types of software so you know what is software a software is a collection of program okay it is a collection of program which is used to perform a specific task so in general in computer the uh, softwares are classified into three types system software application software and utility software our utility software and utility program both are same so you have to explain about the system software application software and utility software all these software uh, the definitions you have to write it and uh, advantages and what are the examples which are comes under that particular software you have to mention and then next comes to the concept of uh, what are the computer languages you know in computer languages are cla uh, classified into uh, three types one is machine level language and one is uh, higher level language and one is assembly la language so why we are using machine level language or binary la level language so what are the instruction where the user is giving that should be in the form of binary only if it is other than binary if any information is given to the computer the computer cannot understand okay so for uh, all these three languages you uh, you have to write the definition and uh, what are the examples what are the uh, uh, soft uh, programming languages which are comes under that particular category that you have to write it and the next one of the very very important question is uh, when it is comes to the unit number three important question is what is operating system and its types so this is one of the very 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 important question so an operating system is an interface between the user and computer so you know if the human being want to interact with the computer so uh, human and computer computer is an hardware device if human want to operate the computer we need a software that software is called as operating system okay so without an operating system a user cannot interact with the operating system and uh, we you know already different types of operating systems are there unix uh, linux uh, windows all these are all are different types of operating system and next uh, different types of uh, operating systems are like uh, distributed uh, operating system batch processing operating system uh, multitasking operating system multi programming operating system time sharing operating system please this is one of the very very important question you can expect one two much question and one long answer from this question and uh, you need to go through with all the side headings which are given in the different types of operating system and what every operating system you have to learn the definition and few advantages and few disadvantages of the every operating system and the next comes to the very very important question is what is operating system and explain the functions of operating system okay so you know in the before question i explained the definition of an operating system so once you install the operating system 
system now what are the benefits you are getting that is very very important so it means what it can do what it is doing at the back end of your computer now so it is managing the memory management it is doing and user management so memory management means what whenever we create a file or whenever we delete a file so it has to allocate the memory for the file and it has to deallocate the memory uh, for the file so this is called as memory management file management so we are going to create a different different files with a different different formats so uh, when we created file when we recently accessed when we recently modified that all the information will be maintained by the operating system this is called as file management system and user management so in one computer you can create more than one user so depending upon the user uh, uh, pass, uh, password it, it has to manage all users and not only this and backup and recovery so whenever uh, any problem you are getting so it will be backup uh, backup your information and can, you can also restore it and providing the security so providing the security from the unauthorized person and next uh, giving a uh, one more important feature is multitasking so this is a, at, at one time you can execute more than one task this is one of the very very important concept and next one is giving the interface between the user and computer so these are all are very very important functions at least five functions you have to explain for this question and next the very very important question is uh, what uh, what is network and different types of network so this is also one of the very very important question and network you know an interconnection between two or more computer is known as network suppose if once one computer is connected with other computer so that the files which are stored the files uh, are what the software the hardware which we have uh, connected to the first computer that can also be used by the other computer by using the network so that is the main benefit of the network and different types of networks means what lan man van pan so local area network wide area network metropolitan area network so all these network types definitions and few advantages of all these networks and few disadvantages you have to learn this is was a very very important question so when it is comes to the last question so explain the different types of network topology this is also called as lan topology so don't be get confusion in final exam you may not get all the questions in uh, direct way so in, sometimes you may get in indirect way also so you have to be careful while reading the answer questions and next to topology is nothing but the logical connection so suppose if i'm giving five computers to you i said you make all these five computers in the network now so you may use uh, different diagrams like if you all if you arrange all these computers in a star de design or you can also arrange all these uh, um, computers in a bus type of design or can all five computers you can make it in a ring ring design so what type of uh, arrangement you are going to do for for every arrangement you will be having some advantages as well as at the same time you will be having some disadvantages and you know some in some uh, arrangements the cable is required more and some arrangements the complexity is more and some uh, uh, arrangement uh, what uh, uh, maintenance is very difficult some uh, what some uh, arrangement it work it will be cost incurred so we have to invest more money so some like for all these arrangements some advantages are there as well as some disadvantages also there so you have to learn so please don't buy hard the concept and understand the each and every topic so once you understand the topic then based on that you have to write the definition the definition should be clear and after that some uh, advantages and disadvantages of every concept so and uh, most of the students are getting doubts so sir how to check my youtube channel so once what you have to do so go to the youtube okay just open the youtube and so type my channel name anu computer education okay so once you type the anu computer education so you'll get a 